Hello, YouTube. Well, I showed you my my uh my stove and another video, two videos, and today is a little different, um, because I had to take out about twelve screws. I had to drill out two screws. And I'll show you why. Because these uh this stove's eight years old. And you remember when I told you it had a uh heat exchanger? Well, ladies and gentlemen, right right here underneath this metal skirt that went from the side. Right here. There is the size right there. Of this heat exchanger. That acts as, as a warming plate too. Okay. There's the, the thing that goes on top of that. I just need a couple more new screws. Not something 80 years old. But my concern was right there. You see this shit? Okay, that, that, that thing right there. That thing right here was part of the damn screw. Well, right here, man. You see all that? Well, I was, yeah, I'll do it right, right on camera. I, uh, okay. Right there. It only took a couple seconds, but what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, it's still south. What I was doing right there was all that oh, you loose rust it was right on top of it. And uh, that being on top of it. I don't, hell, I don't know if there's a damn hole in it. You know? And no one wants to die. You know, carbon monoxide. So, no one wants to die there. So, I, I got this, and yeah, it's in pretty damn good shape. I'll tell you what, ain't. Tell you what ain't is uh see that crack right there? Right here. It goes all the way about right here. What I'm gonna do that is JB Weld has this stuff called extreme heat. Ah oh, well it was that thing one flicker. But extreme heat. And um, this stuff you put on here, I'm telling you, when that thing cures, man, it does a beautiful job. Let me tell you. Well, yeah, the, that's the inside of it right there. You know? It ain't that, it ain't that, uh, it ain't that big. That's big enough. You don't try to throw that heat around. So what I want to do, yeah, 
that rust shit off there. What I want to do is, uh, that's a lot of rust. I guess I'd be rusty too in about 80 years, right? Yeah, I'd be rusty too in 80 years. But yeah, this stove was outside underneath the tarp. So, I just want to say if there was any, any, uh, holes in this. Like I said, there ain't no holes. But I do got a, uh, paintbrush. Uh, you know, that loose stuff right there. What? Dirt, uh, whatever. You know, I gotta get two bolts. One right there, one right there. You know, and what, what I was saying is, is, uh, J.B. Wall has this stuff called extreme heat. And, you know, your mortar might be cracked on your wood stove or, or you need the a brick or whatever repaired. Man, I'm telling you, best shit on the market. So what I'll do, clean off this, setting this down, or brush it with a white brush. Then get order that. Put it in right there, right in the gaps, and hit with the paint. Black stove paint, something high temp. You know, try to get, uh, keep that rot, rot from, away from the stove. Then I wouldn't mind uh, maybe sanding it down a little bit and putting some, uh, some uh, stove paint on there. But the only thing that was holding that metal skirt on the, the side of that, the stove, as you'll see, like one, there's one, there's like one, two, three, there's about, about six to eight screws. So, as soon as I paint it, and here, here, you can get a uh, better picture of the heat reclaimer. See, it ain't that wide. It ain't that wide. But it is what it is. You know, but, yeah, when it comes to, yeah, there it is. No, it ain't that wide. No, but, you know, so I want to do that. I want to brush it off. I want to put that uh, one stuff. Um, you know, even right here, and right here, where the uh, the mortar or the casting right there, right there. Like fading away or whatever, put some of that right there too. You know, you know, fix it up a little bit. You know what I mean? Show some respect. I mean, hell, it, it lasted all these years, and you know, man, forty-two is you know going on you know November of two thousand twenty-two. So. You know, try to show a little love, you know. Uh, I mean, hell, you get, anything you get, you got to maintain it or, or, you know, show us some TLC. Uh, there's that. There's that hole right there. That thing's bolted, too. But, uh. Yeah, I, I mean, 
you gotta do what you have to do. And uh, this was really, really uh, bugging me. I, I had to know, you know, uh, is it is it rotted? Is it through? Do I need a weld? Yo, know, what's the what's the issue? I just found out that there's just, just some some cracks at the the mortar, you know, or whatever they used back in that day. Just kind of you know ran dry, you know. Needs fixed. So that's what I'll do. I'll get that JB Weld. It's called Stream Heat. And man, I'm telling you, man, I'll get get about a uh, uh, one can should do that whole thing. And all it is is a uh, all it is is a uh, um like a metallic paste, but when it cures, it cures like a concrete. You know and. And it, you know, it feels like, well, why the hell you want a stove that old for? You know, I, I, another thing about this, okay, I had oil off everything, right? Those bricks right there, they're not even or something. I need a special drill bit. To go right to that damn brick, so 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 I can see the flames and I can breathe right. Oh, uh, I had to oil that up. I had to oil that up. You know. So it's much easier now because it was. You you could tell it was uh it wasn't taken care of. Let's put it that way. And if it ain't taken care of right, then uh you're going to have some problems, you know. But you know that, that's what 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 I want to do to it. I want to uh use that that uh extreme heat on it. I want to blow it off. I want to brush it down. Um. Uh. I want to paint that, totally paint that, you know? I mean, with, with some, um, some, uh, stove paint. Just try to keep the, that rust down, you know what I mean? And this ain't all cast iron neither. I mean, you got, got your sheet steel too. This cylinder right there, that cheat steel. The only thing that's cast iron on this stove is right here at the top. That back plate. That door right there and that the long door right there on that Chevette. It is the only Well that is made rather fine. But I just don't want to, uh, you know, i seen a uh, fire, you know, flickers. Flames well, it wasn't through that, but I could see that, that uh, you know, the flames and that flicker well, when they exited the, the hole right here from the top to the, the box, you know. It got, kind of got me a little worried, so, you know, that's what I'm doing. I'm, uh, Gonna get this. I'm gonna blow this shit off. I'm gonna order that stuff. I'm gonna put it right there. Buy some black stove paint just to do the just do the uh, box itself. You know, hopefully, you know, everything thing goes well. Or uh, I don't know if I, I could use a uh, yes. Maybe stole paint, you know, what would what, what work best. I don't know. Leave it in the comment well, what you would use. Um, 
I have a site. Well, my nephew showed me it. Well, maybe you can't see down there, but uh, it's just slightly cracked brick. So this one chip that uh, you put it on the brick, comes on a uh, thing for a caulking gun. And, and you cut the tube and that, you, you put this on the brick and, and you level it out on the brick. And, and uh, I don't know if you got to sand it down or whatever, but uh, it'll take that crack away. So that brick don't, don't uh, get more damage and it just, just sounded great. Well, thank you a lot for uh, watching. I just want to show you that, that, uh, what I had to do, and I want to show you that, uh, you know, that heat exchanger, well, with the, the skirting off the, uh, stove, and what I, I'm about to do to it, you know, because I, I'm going to fix it up, because I got maybe half a month at most to get this stove, I know it functions, but fixed. All right, you have a good day. Um, thank you for watching my channel, and describe if you like. Have a blessed day. Bye.